Kelly Flanagan for Ness and Fuel here with Chris Lockwood from the New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Now, Chris, I'm a NASCAR newbie. What exactly makes this car go so fast? Well, most people are going to say it's the horsepower that's under the hood. And that is true. They've got 750 horsepower. It's not your typical engine. But there's a lot more that goes into it. Uh, the handling of the car and, uh, and certainly the, the downforce that's on the car that really determines the speeds. So let's talk about downforce. What is it? So basically, there's, there's five things that keep a race car on the track. It's the four tires and air that's going over it. You know, these are going at tremendous amount of speeds and when it cuts through the air, it actually puts pressure downforce on the car. And that's what, uh, the more downforce, the more drag the car has and the slower it's gonna go. So if you could take downforce off of the car, it can go faster and it handles differently. Mm -hmm. So NASCAR just introduced a new package that emphasizes lower downforce. Why did they make this change? Well, it's certainly, it's been a tremendous change and it makes the action on the track uh, much more fun. The drivers love it and there's several specific things that they've done to modify the car that I'll point out here. So one of the, starting at the front of the car, the, the splitter, they've gone from two inches on the splitter down to a quarter and basically that kind of looks like a, a shovel in the front of the car. So when it's pushing down, it's keeping the nose of the car down. Next thing they've done is the, the radiator panel. They've expanded that wider so that more air can go in through the engine. Less of it is going over the top of the car. And then at the very rear of the car, you have the spoiler, which is a fin that is designed to catch the air and keep the back of the car down. That has gone down uh, as well. So overall, there's less air moving over the car uh, and the drivers absolutely love it. It's really made a huge difference in them being able to not only catch each other, but to pass. All right, so I'm dying to know, how fast can this car actually get up to? Um, at our, our track, if they're really good, they get up to about 165, which may not sound that fast, but when you have a wall coming at you and 39 other drivers driving inches away from your door, it's pretty fast. All right, thanks, Chris. And for all your NASCAR news, make sure to keep it at Ness and Fuel.